Hi guys, Miss Schweitzer here. I just wanted to pop on real quick and talk to you guys about literal and non-literal language. When I use literal language, all I'm doing is using words that mean exactly what they say. I'm not trying to paint a picture in your head or make you think any dip deeper. I'm just trying to tell you some facts. When I use non-literal language, what I'm trying to do is create an image in your head or paint a picture. I want you to really think about what I'm saying and try to find a deeper meaning in it. All right, let's do some practice. So when I say something like hold your horses, I'm not really telling you to go outside and find some horses and grab them and hold on to them. What I actually mean is, can you wait a minute? Do you see that? Maybe you have some rowdy horses and you know, in your mind you're you're grabbing onto them and you're trying to make them calm down. That's what I mean. Can you just wait a minute? And when I say something like, I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. I'm not telling you that I could literally eat a horse. What I'm telling you is that I'm so hungry that, you know, could you just imagine me eating a horse? All I'm trying to say is that I am really hungry. Because I wouldn't really paint the same picture if I said, I'm so hungry, I could eat a mouse. A mouse is a tiny little animal. They wouldn't fill me up. So non-literal things are all about painting a picture in your head and they all mean something else. They all mean something really literal. So let's pop over here and take a look at our worksheet. In our text, Life on the Ice, they use some non-literal language that we kind of have to decode, you know. They paint a picture in our head and we have to think about what it means. So when I say flying inside a ping pong ball, I don't really mean that I'm flying inside a ping pong ball. What I see is I'm picturing myself in an airplane and everything is all white all around me. I mean, ping pong balls are white. So what that could mean, literally, is that when you are flying, all you see out the windows is the white snow. Let's take a look at this one down here. This one said, says, body is like a furnace. Well, a body isn't really a furnace, but it paints a picture in your head of a furnace. When I think of a furnace, I think of something like a big oven or a big wood stove, something that you need to put a lot of fuel into to keep it going. So what it could really mean is that a body needs food or energy to keep it going. All right, you have three left to do. And if you have any more questions, make sure to let your teacher know. Bye, guys.